Engines are fired. Signal will be given very shortly to begin. 10 minutes of time qualifying for DRS 125. 15 drivers. Fastest carts we have here in the Daniel Ricciardo series. Hit the track. In their qualifying session now. Last year's final round. It's hard to believe that the last time we were watching these drivers on track was at Peak Park back at the end of the, in November. But uh, those of you that can recall that, it was a somewhat lively affair, was the DRS 125 final. I'm sure, the drivers had a long time. We have had, had a long time. We've had over eight months to think about it plot their revenge. I mean, plot how they're going to improve on that somewhat robust and rambunctious show for 2020. There on your screen, number three, Ty Stanfield. First out of the gate, chased by number five cart of Morgan Cole, and the number six cart of Dan Walden. So, like we saw in TRS 100, several of the sort of pre-season title favourites wants to get out early. Get out ahead of the pack. They don't want to be involved in traffic. They want clear air in front of them. Does that work for them? 15 drivers all out on track. Ryan Benton is the sole series rookie here this weekend. With Ryan, it's a case of just hang on the coattails of everybody else as best they can. Soak up information like a sponge and learn every lap. The end of the first round of flying laps, and it is... Number three, Ty Stansfield, the time you're watching on screen, who is fast as the ball. Force 3.010. Number seven car of Zach Parkinson coming into the dog leg. Number five car of Morgan Cole heading around bottom bend into middle bend and then into the elbow. Is chase Zach Parkinson down. And it's still Ty Stanton, 42.995. So nearly or everybody improves their best lap time on the second round of flying laps. Matthew Pierce is second quick. This is Patrick Lay in part number 175. Goes fastest of all. 42.981 seconds. Patrick Lay. The order is now Lay, Stansfield, Harry Barlow third, and then Matthew Pierce, Corey Elaine up into fifth position, and of Tom Snape, Sam Cunliffe, Dave Burns, Morgan Cole, and Jack Rigg is your top ten at the moment. So every single driver proving on their best time last time around is number 175, Patrick Lay, who leads it is, number 197 card on your screen, that is Dave Burns, and Dave is running in eighth fastest time at the moment. Here's Stansfield, second place. He's got to make it just 14 hundredths of a second on Patrick Lay at the moment. Still a long way to go in this session, however. Oh, six and a half minutes remains. And we watch the number three cart of Stansfield from out of the dog leg. Into the elbow, last two corners. Out of the elbow, set yourself up. Don't go too far wide because it's going into the final corner because you leave the door open for somebody to make a, a late lunge. But if you go in too tight, then you do affect your exit speed and you can get slipstream on the very short run to the check and flag. It didn't happen though. Even though there is a very short run out of the final corner before you get to the finish line. Here is Stansfield as Matthew Pierce in cart number two goes quickest of all. 42.960. Now for Pierce, beats Patrick Lay's time by two hundredths of a second. Stansfield remains third. 42.988 seconds. Less than 300 separate the top three. Here is your provisional pole to Matthew Pierce, driver number two. He's coming into the elbow now. He's got a 
slower cart in front of him, but that's uh, not affecting him at the moment. It's uh, maybe even helping him straight. That's the number 298 cart of Carl Watt. And uh, now caught Carl Watt, and this will spoil a particular lap for the provisional pole man. And as you can see, there's a lot of clean track around him. There's uh, no one using Matthew Pierce as a guide. But then again, Pierce doesn't now have anybody to slipstream off or to use the target to try and catch. So he's all on his own when he's dropped back. You see him easing back. So what he'll do, he'll ease back up the corners. Now he'll pick up the pace and he'll use this lap when he's looking around. He's going to sacrifice another lap. A bit late to pick up the speed here, so he's effectively spoiled two laps for himself there as Pierce. But he has got like a 20 to 25 cart length gap now to Carl Watt, which he will then use the target to try and tow himself up to, and that will help him in qualifying form. So it is four and a half minutes to go, and it is Pierce, Lay, Stansfield, Barlow, Elaine, Snape, Cunliffe, Burns, Cole, and Rigg, your top ten. Carl Watt is 16 fastest, so we do have full 16 drives. Let's we'll see who is not on my entry list. Is out there. We've got uh, Dan Walden down twice. So obviously not right. We've got one name that's on the timing screen that's not on my. Entry. Well, matters not. Oh, and there is Carl Watt. Ah out of the session in cart number 298 a mechanical issue for Carl and that was Matthew Pierce's target so Pierce now finds himself all on his own he's only got a 21 thousandth of a second cushion so will we see Pierce ease off he's all, got no one to work with no one to follow at all now for some drivers that works perfectly but for others they prefer to have that target of a cart not directly in front of them, but within 10 to 15 cart lengths. And Pierce slows down with less than three minutes to go to try and wait for somebody to, to catch him. Uh, last time around, nobody improved their best time. Patrick Lay laid off the gas. Also, a very similar thing to what Pierce is doing and just waiting find somebody to slipstream with. Yes, a long way still. He's going to have to slow right down to avoid costing himself another lap. Or is he uh, returning back to the pits? He's back to Pierce. The original pole sitter coming back into the pits. He will not improve on his time. Will he... Are there any other drivers out there that can challenge him? He hasn't exactly got a large cushion over this driver now. Number 175, Patrick Lay, who is still on circuit. Lay will start another lap. But again, Patrick Lay has got nobody around him. He's all on his own, no one to slipstream with. Comes out of the elbow through the final corner to start another flying lap. top straight then into the loop out of the loop into top bend now one corner to the other to the, to the next a really good flow to this Rissington circuit broken up by this section now the dog leg hard on the brakes stay off the inside curve it will bounce you offline you've got to sacri almost sacrifice the entrance to this complex to get the best exit it all depends whether you're attacking or defending in a race situation, but uh, Patrick Ray in qualifying, do we need In fact, he has aborted this lap and is returning to the pit lane, as are a lot of drivers. But we've only got, with a minute to go, about half the field out there. P Pierce is quickest. There is Jack Rigg on your screen, number 316. And Jack, in his first DRS 125 qualifying session, is 10th fastest overall. His fellow junior or DRS 100 graduate Sam Cunliffe is seventh. Still 
nobody. In fact, I think tyres might come into play here because uh, it looks though that uh, nobody is improving. Certainly nobody at the business end of the timing screen is improving. In fact, most of the front runners have already returned. But there's number five, Morgan Cole, who's ninth fast. He comes back in to the pits. But Pierce, Lay, Stansfield, Barlow, and a great drive from Corey Elaine to currently run fifth. And Elaine takes the checker flag. So Elaine, one of the few drivers to remain on circuit for the entire 10 minute session. And he is rewarded with, by far and away, his best qualifying results of his Daniel Ricciardo series career. Fifth overall, Tom Snape, a very impressive sixth fastest. Cunliffe is seventh. Burns, Dave Burns in cart number 197 is eighth. Morgan Cole will be disappointed with ninth place. And Jack Rigg rounding out the top ten ahead of Dan Walden. Elliot Stanley, Mark Lawrence. And following Mark Lawrence is Zach Parkinson, rookie Ryan Benton, a respectable 15th, ahead of Carl Watt, who we saw have a mechanical issue halfway through that session. He will start shotgun on the field in 16th position. But Pierce was 21 thousandths of a second faster than Lay. Again, looking down the order, less than half a second separating the top 11 qualifiers in DRS 125. Heat race. Heat race. At the end of this event, the of this event there will be a will break be for lunch break before we get into the pre-finals and finals. But here is the starting lineup. The starting Fifteen lineup. drivers in total, led by last year's championship runner-up, driver number two, Matthew Pierce. Starting alongside Matthew on the front row of the grid will be Patrick Lay in cart number 175. Third place driver in last year's championship, Ty Stansfield. He starts from P3 alongside former champion returning to the series this year, Harry Barlow in cart number 315. Great qualifying Great performance qualifying from number 308, Corey Elaine, to start fifth. And an equally impressive performance by number 312, Tom Snape, to round out the third row of the grid. Sam Cunliffe, moving up from DRS 100, his first race as a 125 driver. He starts seventh alongside the very experienced Dave Burns in cart number 197. Morgan Cole, start ninth in cart number five alongside Cunliffe's fellow DRS 100 graduate. Jack Rigg. Jack Rigg. Row number Row six number will see six number will six, see Dan Walden, six, and uh, Dan Walden, sorry, Dan and Walden Elliot Warren. Stanley Elliot in cart Stanley number two, Carl seven, two nine. nine. That is your top six rows of the grid. Mark Lawrence in cart number eight, and Zach Parkinson in cart number seven. They're disappointed in their performances in qualifying. They start 13th and 14th. Look for them to both come storming through towards the lead of this race. But Ryan Benton, the only rookie in the race, he starts 15th alongside Carl Watt, who had a mechanical issue in qualifying, which uh, cut his, his session short. And now, once again, we will uh, be quiet. Now, we had a clean start in DRS 62. A relatively clean start in DRS 100. Can we get a clean start in DRS 125? We had 16 fastest Daniel Ricciardo series carts here at Whistleton this weekend around turn number one. Off we go. The smoke rises, says that we are underway. Good start from the pole sitter into top bend. Matthew Pierce has the lead. Everybody else slots in behind. Patrick Lay stays second, and that is Harry Stansfield in third position. So the top three as they, they qualify. Harry Barlow is up into fourth place and then let's see how Corey Elaine and Tom Snape continue they can maintain that qualifying form into race trim itself they're coming to complete the end of lap number one now oh we've got one driver at the back of your screen there to stop the mechanical issue it's uh, Zach Parkinson oh dear so Parkinson in cart number seven out of the race it seems on the opening lap his day goes from bad to worse. 
Matthew Pierce, Patrick Lay, Ty Stanton, Harry Barlow, Tom Snake, Sam Kenner, Dave Burns, Morgan Cole, Corey Elaine slips back to ninth. Good performance. Tom Snake at Carpenter 3 1 2. Watch to see Tom. Soaking up the information, soaking up the experience all around him. Pierce tries to break away. Matthew Pierce, fastest lap of the race, 43.115 seconds on lap number two. And he is pulling a gap between himself and Patrick Lay in second. But he stands field is right there in third, beginning to put the pressure on Lay. And oh, there is uh, Parkinson. Has he got that number seven car running? Yes, he looks like he has. Good lad. He's going to join the fun, a lap down. Okay, here is Lay coming into middle bend, now towards the elbow. Will number three car of Stansfield make the move? Yes, he will. Oh, side by side, up on the inside curve goes Stansfield. Lay holds him off, that's going to cost them both a bit of time, and it's going to give Harry Barlow in car number 315 a chance to potentially pounce. Can't quite make the move, but they're behind them in that uh, white race suit, and... Uh, Dominic White Race suit with the uh, green front of his crash helmet is number 312 of Tom Snake. Behind them is a gap back to Sam Cunliffe in sixth position. Dave Burns is seventh, Elliot Stanley eighth, Corey Alain ninth, and Morgan Cole down in tenth. Followed by Jack Riggs, Dan Walden, Carl Watt, Ryan Benson, and Mark Lawrence. Does look as though I want to see if Zach Parkinson picks up that car, fixed and he's still running with him. He's got fixed so he can cruise back to the pit lane. Pierce leads by 1.2 seconds. Another new fastest lap. 43.055 seconds. Lay in cart number 175. Under pressure coming through the loop from Tyrone Stansfield in cart number 3. Stansfield the inside. Side by side around top end. And it didn't quite happen there for Stansfield. Lay was able to keep the momentum on the outside line. And uh, of course, you can get up the inside going into top end, but then you're. you're you lose out on the run out of the corner on the back trick. And of course, if you're on the inside coming out of top bend, that means you're on the outside with a critical run into the dog leg. Here's number 312 car of Tom Snape. He's now falling away a little bit behind the top three. But Harry Barlow now beginning to put the pressure on him. He's doing a fantastic job in fourth place this week. Sam Cunliffe, you can see in that very distinctive eight and center livery crash helmet, the uh, yellow, green and black livery. Cunliffe is right with Snape and Barlow in sixth position. Here's Sam Cunliffe. Second in last year's DRS 100 class. Ten there's a gap back to Burn seven, Elaine eight, Stanley ninth, and Cole in ten. Walden, Watt, Lawrence, Benton, and Rick. That Parkinson has retired that number seven cart. Now 15 runners, and here comes Lay into the dog leg. Stansfield has had that one concerted effort and he's decided to uh, maybe just sit and wait. Can they reel Patrick Pier uh, Pat Matthew Pierce back in? Yeah. Was 1.2 seconds, and last time around, Lay and Stansfield were just a tenth quicker than Pierce. Although this lap, as we complete lap number seven, uh, Pierce goes a tenth and a half quicker than his two pursuers. The gap is back up to 1.3 seconds. So Stansfield. Is, uh, he's not gaining on the leader, and this might sound strange, but Stansfield was probably thinking to himself, if I sit back behind Patrick Lay in third place, will that gain me time on the leader? And the answer is uh, no. So, Stansfield might start thinking, well, I, you know, there's no point in following because I'm still losing ground. And, uh, oh, is that an unhealthy sounding part? Now, on the... Uh, Microphone there on the circuit. That was, uh, and it lo oh, it looks like it was, it was the Ty Stansfield cart, and it was, uh, there was a cart. I said it wasn't sounding particularly healthy in Stansfield, and you can see, oh, pulling out, 
slow him down. It's high stance field there. Maybe an exhaust bracket coming loose or an exhaust itself coming loose, but that is game over for Stansfield. And Tom Snape now moves into the third place. Looking at the battle coming through there, the number eight car of Mark Lawrence. So coming out of the dog leg, Lawrence is back in 13th position, chasing the number 311 of rookie driver Ryan Benton, who's having a fantastic run, I have to say holding his own against far more experienced drivers. And uh, Benton is pursuing the number 298 car of Carl Watt. So this on your screen with uh, Elliot Stanley in 10th place. So this is the 11th, 12th and 13th place battle. Behind them, Jack Rigg is 14th and Jack has had an off-track moment and is several seconds behind this battle. But it's Pierce leading by 1.2 seconds over late the front of the field and another three second gap back to Snape in third. Uh, Barlow is right behind Snape in fourth. Cunliffe is fifth with less than a minute to go. Behind Cunliffe is Corey Lane. So Corey Lane, great qualifying, maybe a little bit cautious on the opening lap. Lost a bit of ground, but back to ninth. Is now fighting his way back up into the top six. Uh, he is, however, two seconds behind. Sam Cunliffe in fifth, so Elaine is in sixth position. He's going to try and hold that because he's got Dave Burns a little bit behind him in seventh place. Morgan Cole is in eighth. Stan Walden is ninth. And Stanley in tenth position. Here, though, is number 312. Tom Snape. As the clock strikes zero, so next time around, the leader will get the last lap board. But Snape has done a fantastic job of holding up Harry Barlow in cart with a 315. And Harry hasn't been a regular in this, he wasn't regular in this championship in 2019. But uh, certainly he's had the time to blow the cobwebs off and uh, for the champion he is obviously putting in a good show, but Snape in cart number 312. Storm and drive. They have dropped Sam Cunliffe, who was right there with them. Here is your race lead, number two, Pat Matthew Pierce. He's got Patrick Lay behind him. And Patrick Lay sets a new fast lap, 42.961 seconds. Last lap, board goes out. Patrick Lay, one final throw of the dice. Into the dog leg. Pierce cannot get overly defensive because Patrick Lay is not close enough to make a move, but if Pierce does take a defensive line, that could open the door for Patrick Lay. At the moment, Pierce doesn't need to. He's not checking over his shoulder. He comes into the elbow, takes the racing line. Smart stuff there from Matthew Pierce. One corner to go. Patrick Lay really closed the gap in the last two laps to less than three quarters of a second. But Matthew Pierce takes the win. Lay second. Snake finishes third. Barlow is fourth. Cunliffe fifth, Elaine sixth, Morgan Cole grabs seventh right at the end, ahead of Dave Burns and Dan Walden with Elliot Stanley rounding out the top ten. Carl Watt, Ryan Benton, Mark Lawrence, and Jack Rigg rounded out the top 14. Uh, they were the only 14 drivers that finished with Ty Stansfield and Zach Parkinson sadly failing to make the end. But there will be two very fast, very motivated drivers starting the pre-final a little bit later on from the back of the grid. Okay, so pole position. Driver number two, Matthew Pierce, alongside him, and one, two, five, Pat McLean. On row two, the very impressive Tom Stake in car 312, and Harry Barlow, the returning Harry Barlow in car 315. Sam Cunliffe and Corey Elaine start on row three, while on row four, it's Morgan Cole and Dave Burns. Row five is Dan Walden and Elliot Stanley, and rounding out the top six rows will be Carl Watt and Ryan Benton. Behind Benton, it is Mark Lawrence and Jack Rigg, and then two drivers starting the back of the field who had problems in their heats, Ty Stansfield, Car three, Zach Parkinson in car number seven. Look for those two to make significant progress when this race begins. Here we 
go. Up to the line. Good start, and Matthew Pierce takes the lead. They touch it to second place. They all get round turn two cleanly. Now into the loop. And uh, already the top two there's punched in. Looking at the inside slightly. Somebody running wide of the grass. Coming out of the top end. Oh, there's a collision in the middle of the pack there. And that looks like it's number 298. Carl Watt facing backwards. But it's Pierce who leads Lay into the dog leg at the end of uh, on, well, halfway round the first lap. Side by side between Snake and. Barlow behind them, and that's allowing the top two to pull clear already. This is not good news for chasing Pat. Snake in count of the 3-1-2 has broken clear in third place. Penlift, Barlow, Cole, Elaine, Stanley and Parkinson next. Great start from Zach Parkinson up from the back of the grid to ninth place already. Harry Stansfield has come to 30. And uh, there is a rather damaged looking number 298 cart of Carl Watt. That's a panel askew everywhere. And we're back into a back load flag situation. Shadow and uh, Matthew Pierce really need to slow these guys down. A warning flag being given out to the race leader. Pierce there, probably for not slowing down the corner. Start finish line single file. The race will begin with about six or so minutes remaining. Patrick Lay in cart number 175 waits for his opportunity to arise. Pierce. Right, slow now is Snake in third. Tom Lift. The OS 25 debut. It's in fourth, had a Barlow, Cole, Elaine, Stanley, Parkinson, and Lawrence, your top ten. Into the elbow. Now, Matthew Pierce picks up the speed, but Leia's gone with him. The top two already got a couple of cart lengths in hand over. I think that is a great restart from Patrick. He gets a jump on Matthew Pierce and takes the lead into turn number one. With half ball. This is lap number five. The clock carried on going. And it is late. And the pressure now from Pierce coming through middle bend up towards the elbow. Pierce needs to fend off. The onslaught of Matthew Pierce, who led the entire heat race from start to finish. And the outside corner is two leaders. Very close to behind them. But it's not a side by side racing, and that's gonna, not going to help them. It's going to help these two get away. Now, Lane, the 
back end of the cart out, a little bit under braking for the dog leg. Can Pierce get on the power early enough? No, he can't. Snake in cart 312 and Barlow close in a little bit further. Out of middle bend, now towards thing. There's the move. Pierce at the inside of the elbow. Cart sideways slides and managed to hit the apex, but uh, that is going to allow Snake to maybe have a little bit of second place. No, but it's brought the entire lead group very, very nice and close together. Lay, Snape, and Barley. Bunch. And the all cleaning up behind, but still, Matty Pierce lost that lead briefly, but has brought it back. And uh, behind them in about fifth or sixth position, there's a change of position back in sixth place as Morgan Cole and Corey Elaine pass Sam Cunliffe. So Cunliffe. Obviously a front runner in last year's DRS 100 class, knowing that life is not quite as peachy and as rosy in the 125s. It's been called hung out to dry. There's a move on Cunliffe by Elliot Stanley. Stanley. Also. Barlow, Cole, Elaine, Pendiff, Stansfield, Parkinson, Richard Monster. This is lap number nine, over a minute remaining. We'll change up for the best battle. We'll move to the top four battle. Barlow fourth, Cole at the fifth, in the lane, and then Stanfield, Parkinson, doing the top ten. Into top ten. Lane, 30 seconds to go, makes the move. Mm -hmm. the other, so Patrick Lane back into top spot. It's the expense of Matthew Pierce. Mm -hmm. the Coming into top bend we go. Pierce has to keep one eye behind him because. Tom Snake is ever so close. What are you waiting? They come into now, one more time. Now, this is where the last lap board goes out here. It's in the background, setting out of their car. Into the loop. Can't lay the bank. Like Morgan, but also Snake and Barlow. Most of the dog legs. This is the final lap. Still on the 175 pack for me. Now Pierce goes to try the undercut. Coming out of the dog leg. Has he got it? He's going to try and cross over again. Last lap. Check the flag though. And that's his leg. He does.
So the uh, grid is sitting and waiting to be formed up. Hopefully we'll have all 16 of our DRS125 drivers lining up. Pole position. Driver number two, Matthew Pierce, alongside Matthew on the front row of the grid, Patrick Lay. On the inside of row two, Tom Snape, what a fantastic day he's had, and Harry Barlow returning to the championship, starting fourth. Sam Cunliffe, his first outing as a DRS125 driver. We'll see him start fifth for the final. Uh, and Corey Elaine, a great day so far for Corey. He starts on the outside of row number three. Morgan Cole and Dave Burns share row number four. Dan Walden and Elliot Stanley round out the top ten. Carl Watt and rookie Ryan Benton are 11th and 12th. And here are some big names looking to make a big impact in the nicest possible way, obviously, at the back of the field. Mark Lawrence, Jack Rigg, Ty Stansfield, and Zach Parkinson. Hmm. Snape and Barlow. Lights are out. We're off and racing into turn number one. Matthew Pierce makes a good start. Patrick Lee on the outside is going to lose second place to Tom Snape, is he? No, he just about managed to scramble across and reclaim and hold on to second place over the number 312 cart of say then uh, into fourth position that looked like it was a great start from number 308 Corey Elaine who really is so far I mean I'm not going to put the curse of the commentator on it but so far he is having a, a very 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 strong day he's now got to cope with the pressure of this final but uh, into fifth position is Harry Barlow into the elbow for the first time Patrick Lane just taking a slightly different line to Matthew Pierce coming around the first corner and oh there's a three wide situation for fifth position and Barlow looked like he was uh, making a rather forceful move there to make that position stick for himself and I'm looking down there I think he did do it as well That's, he's got Stansfield Ty Stansfield it's about time that he showed what he was really capable of he's not had the luck today neither has Parkinson and Parkinson is up into 12th position now we down to 13 counts, so we've lost a couple more. We did have 16. I've got, we'll try and see who we've got uh, missing and who might, might be missing. So we, sadly, we've uh, lost Dave Burns. Uh, Jack Rigg is there. So Carl Watt, I think, has also, uh, so Carl Watt did not take the start. We saw him have a few technical issues. So Carl Watt and Dave Burns out. So we've got 14 carts running mark lawrence down in 14th position uh, up at the front it's still matthew pierce patrick lay under increasing pressure now from tom snape snape in cart 312 looks to the inside coming into the dog leg or does he know lay is late on the brakes and of course lay doesn't want to start defending he doesn't want to let matthew pierce get away now snape should be aware that you know maybe it's worth i mean just sort of helping patrick lay along and cap the leaders together because we're pulling away from the group behind. Barlow is fourth. Elaine is still fifth. Stansfield sixth. Elliot Stanley is seventh. Walden is eighth. Cunliffe is ninth. Cole tenth. Rig eleventh. Parkinson twelfth. Then it's Benton and Lawrence. Harry Barlow checks over his shoulder in car number 315 just to sit check to see where Corey Elaine is. Now, this is I mean, it's not new territory for Corey Elaine. Of course, he raced last year. But uh, obviously, it's improved vastly in the interim layoff period that we've had. It has emerged from this new season. Looking like a completely different driver. Certainly a lot more confident in the cart, a lot more aggressive. But now we're in a race situation. We've got the pressure of a final. And the potential for his best ever result. And of course, the drivers around him now that have been here bought the T-shirt before. Oh, and there's uh, number six uh, just stepping off the circuit there, coming out of the top bend. And that would be uh, Dan Walden losing eighth place to Morgan Cole. Morgan Cole has not had a, a, a great day either and uh, looks like someone has uh, found the fire in his belly and is uh, moving forward up towards 
the sharp end of the field. And Cunliffe in cart 304. Again, the driver he's shown pace as he graduates out of DRS 100, but uh, not pace over the course of an entire race day. And of course, even though both he and Jack Rigg were, were you know, accomplished runners in the DRS 100 class, Cunliffe almost, uh, you know, almost taking the, the, DR, the DRS 100 title last year shows that stepping up against not just the not dealing with the different power of the car but also the far more experienced drivers there's a move that is uh ty stansfield passing Coriel eight the fifth position stansfield marching towards the front now like kind of coming up against not just the different power of the car but these far more experienced drivers and it uh, they can be a very bunch of tough nuts to crack up at the front Matthew Pierce getting all his nuts well and truly uh, uncracked at the moment leading by five tenths of a second in cart number two Patrick Lay is uh, on a strong lap however last time around Lay set a personal best lap for him a 43.168 he beats that with a 43.135 and that is a tenth quicker than Matthew Pierce. The gap as they come through the loop on lap number eight with six and a three quarter minutes to go is down to less than half a second. Meanwhile, Ty Stansfield sets a new fast lap of the race overall, 43.095. He has uh, pulled a bit of a gap on Corey Lane and is now setting off to close a 1.2 second deficit to Harry Barlow in fourth place. Tom Snape still runs in third. There is Corey Lane now fighting to stay in front of Elliot Stanley in sixth position. And uh, you know, what Corey Lane needs to do is he just needs to calm down, you know, remember where, where he is and where he was in, con in comparison to this time last year and to not overdrive things. You know, if uh, he was running in fourth place, but if sixth is as much as he could get today then rather than keep fighting for fifth and end up with nothing sixth place is still going to be an excellent result he's checking over his shoulder he's going to try and keep Stanley behind him Morgan Cole is the next man in line in cart number five eighth to overall and he's 1.6 seconds behind his back you're looking at on screen now just under six minutes to go Pierce's lead is just four tenths of a second over Lay Snape seven tenths per second behind Lay in third and then another three quarters of a second back to Barlow in fourth Stansfield another new fastest lap 42.945 to Ty Stansfield he's fifth and he's only 2.8 seconds off the race lead see him pulling away from the battle he'll be watching on screen between Elaine and Stanley and uh, Stansfield there he is can't the three black races yellow and orange crash helmet coming out of bottom bend through middle bend now he has got his his moniker absolutely locked and loaded onto the number 315 cart of Harry Barlow who himself is no slouch but again he's a tenth quicker than Barlow that time around he's actually two tenths quicker than the race leader Pierce a 43-3-0 last time Lay a 43-2-5 Stansfield at 43-1-2. So the front five carts are getting closer and closer as this race closes out. Four and a half minutes to go. The problem that we have as, a, as race fans is that none of them are close enough to force the driver in front into driving defensively, which again, of course, would close everybody up. So when Stansfield gets to Barlow, that could stall their progress out. But certainly of the top five at the moment, well, Matthew Pierce responds on lap number 11 there with a 43.1, two tenths quicker than Lay. The gap is out to three quarters of a second again. And around top bend, very, very competitive stuff indeed. As I'm looking down the order, there's still between the top nine, there is seven seconds between the top nine drivers and we're 12 laps into the Grand Prix itself. Now, Stansfield gets to within snapping distance well, is in, of Barlow's fourth position. And when I say snap, I don't mean sort of snap his cart. I mean like snap as in maybe take a little nibble. 
snap his jaws and make a move. Barlow starts to defend, and you can see the gap growing already between Snape in third and Barlow in fourth as Barlow tries to defend fourth place. Now, Stanfield's got to go now. If Stanfield's got a chance of a podium, he's got to go now. He can't afford, he's faster than Barlow, but he's got to get past him. We've got three minutes to go. A podium, there he goes. Great drive off the dog leg. Stansfield makes the move. P4, and he hasn't lost at least a little bit of ground. Not too much. Corey Elaine sets a personal best lap for him, 43.153. He is one and a half seconds now behind Harry Barlow. Stansfield that time around, 43.28. He was, well, he was two tenths slower than Tom Snape. But that, look, Snape put in a personal best lap, a 43-0 for Snape. Stansfield on that lap was still as quick as the race leader, Matthew Pierce, who leads by six tenths of a second on lap number 14. This race hasn't necessarily had the part that, you know, the constant overtaking, but it is bubbling up nicely, and it is one you cannot take your eyes off. Pierce has led from the start, but cannot relax. Lay needs one monster lap to put himself within striking distance and to force Pierce to defend. Once he is within lunge distance, Pierce will have no choice but to take a defensive line and then that will bring Snape and Stansfield at least into play. Barlow looks like, I know we're in high summer, but his uh, Christmas goose might have been cooked because he is not able to keep pace with the front four and in fact he is falling back into the clutches of Corey Elaine who's now just one second behind him in sixth position Stanley still on seventh Cole is eighth Walden ninth Parkinson tenth Benton eleventh Cunliffe twelfth Lawrence thirteenth and Rig fourteenth here's your race leaders with a minute to go coming around the loop and into top bend you can see Patrick Lay hasn't given up and Ty Stansfield, oh, he's 1.2 seconds behind Snape. And that last time around, the top four all lapping within a tenth of a second of each other. This is very, very high class kart racing. Nobody making a mistake at the front. Everybody pushing each other on. The tyres are worn. The bodies are worn. The carts potentially warm but the adrenaline that curses through the veins of these top four is pushing them on to outperform their equipment outperform the tires sheer bloody mindedness is now what is driving these top four to produce personal best after personal best and still Matthew Pierce has not made a mistake he hasn't even unlocked the door, let alone opened it ever so slightly. He hasn't even peeked through the lock hole yet to see what's behind him. Patrick Ray, though, is not giving up. Lay has just got to wait there. The clock strikes zero. Now, last lap board goes out. Last time into the top bank. Still, Pierce, Lay and Snape separated by less than a second between the three of them. Into the dog leg. Patrick Lay stands with the brakes as late as he possibly can. But I think his chance has gone. Matthew Pierce, after on lap 18, comes through middle bend, into the elbow, doesn't defend. He doesn't have to. What a fantastic performance. Matthew Pierce takes the check and flag. Second for Patrick Lee. Third, what a fantastic podium for Tom Snape. Ty Stansfield finishes fourth. And on the last lap, Stansfield does a 42.902, fastest lap of the race. Harry Barlow returns the championship with fifth. And Corey Elaine with a personal best lap on his last lap. He takes him a best ever sixth position. 43.052 on the last lap. And... Seventh for Elliot Stanley, eighth for Morgan Cole, ninth for Dan Walden, Zach Parkinson comes home in tenth, Mark Lawrence is eleventh, twelfth for Sam Cunliffe, 
13th for Jack Riggan, 14th for rookie Ryan Benton. So I'm looking down there, the top three separated by less than a second in that race. And that's the 125 race. The top six separated by less than four after 18 hard-fought laps of racing around this little Rissington circuit.